Woo! We're back in Subrosia or wherever this is. Maybe I just gave out a spoiler. Spoiler! Spoiler! <laughs> anyway, welcome back to Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. I'm your host, with the most, and I want some toast. Boomerang Brothers, 89.0. Anyway, we went have we left off here last time. Exactly. Maybe. I'm not sure, sir. And well, we have to go see this temple. Digging around for ore chunks, digging around for more chunks. Hmm. Anyway, we have to go find the only path we can really go to right now is this way because, well, we lack the ability to go over those holes. And anyway, this is looks suspicious enough to go. You finally come! When this temple was buried, I thought perhaps you wouldn't come to see me. This temple is seasons is where we four spirits reside. I've waited a long time for you. Do you like spring or summer? Fall, perhaps? But no, you must love winter. Get the rod of seasons and visit us to wait in each of the four corner towers. Okay. Mystery spirits. Ooh, bright colors. You got the Rod of Seasons! With the power of the Season Spirits, it can change the seasons! And welcome! Now bring the Rod of Seasons to you see to us Season Spirits in the Four Towers. And I'd like to welcome you all to the game's main mechanic! The Rod of Seasons. Pretty much the same kind of thing as a sword. Animation, anyway. Other than its whole look. Well, the sprite... Well, you you can tell the difference. That's a rod, that's a sword. But, the Rod of Seasons is the game's main mechanic. The saying is if you have to swing it in order to change the seasons. I'll give you a brief explanation but about how, as soon as I can. Obviously, we can't go to summer or spring, because summer's door is locked and spring has to go through a pathway or something. Winter is available, and we can't go through fall, obviously, because fall is going to be up, up that way, because we can't go over lava. Quite yet, anyway. So we have to go in winter. And this is where the Sabrosian dance came in. Spoilers! Boomerang. Oh yeah, I'm so talented I can throw my boomerang backwards. Haha! <laughs> you all wish you were as skilled as me. I am bragging. Hello, Mr. Fairy. I'm a girl! Thank you for coming, child of the crested hand. The spirit of winter has been waiting for you. Din is our dear friend. Now, let me bestow the power of the spirit of winter on the rod you hold. When you swing the rod from atop a stump, the seasons shall change. In winter, the water freezes and the snow pile up. Get to the other three spirits, too. Please hurry to Din's aid. And now the Rod of Seasons has been blessed with the wintry chill. Call atop a stump to call forth winter. Yes! And you can see the Rod of Seasons already got another symbol. A diamond representing winter. So now... We're pretty much done here in Subrosia. Ah, great. We have to talk to Mr. Sleeper. So the item was actually the Rod of Seasons. New roads will surely open with its power. I dreamt of woods in the east. There may be an essence there. Link, can you go for me? Uh, no. Actually, I'm gonna have you, the tree that's stuck in the fucking ground because of its roots, go there yourself. Dumbass. I mean, you're pretty much your errand boy anyway. You might as well say, Link, go there right now or I shall smite you with my all bassy power of my snot bubble. Stupid tree. <sighs> Again, I, I really love this game to death. It's one of my favorite Zelda games, if not one of, if not the favorite Zelda game, one, if not my, the favorite Zelda game of, of all time for me. Well, that and Agents. I mean, they're pretty much hand in hand, and I've already explained this, but... 
It, it, it's a tie between this game and Link to the Past. Really. I mean, Link to the... The top overhead view of Zelda's are the best. I I mean, I love the 3D ones and everything. Twilight Princess and Wind Waker were really good. I, I'm not that fond of or Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Personally, I enjoy Majora's Mask a little bit more, but only because I actually have more hands-on time with that. But that's it! <laughs> you have the Rod of Seasons! If that Rod of Seasons held the power of the Seasons Spirits, you could change the seasons! But I see it only as the power of winter. Hmm. So winter off from Tata's stump. Its power will be unleashed. You understand? <gasps> of course I don't understand. I mean, I've already explained this thing to you guys. You've already heard hear me right? read it to you guys from the fairies. And the damn fucking tree! See, Sabrosia. There must be other entrances to it. You must find them. Perhaps you can go to the Temple of Seasons again. So we part. Yeah, you, you stay out of my story, dude. Okay? Anyway, before he rudely interrupted, I was explaining that I really, I'm really not fond of Ocarina of Seasons. I mean, yeah, Ocarina of Seasons. Ocarina of Time. I, I really don't like it. It's one of my least favorite Zelda games. I got to the Jabu Jabu Belly. I think once, when I, once I tried playing it, and I got to um the time to point where Link became a adult, and then I stopped playing. Seriously, that game just does not interest me. It's one of my least favorite Zelda games. Zelda games are like one. I even finished Link Link's Awakening, and that one was really not one of, one not one of the best ones. Even though people say, "Oh, it's critically acclaimed," I didn't really like it. Anyway, as you saw me demonstrate while I was ranting, I changed the season to winter. It pretty much makes trees wither, snow pile up, these flowers don't work. But as soon as you go to a new area, it's, the effects quickly wither away. And there we go, we have another bond wall. Whee! Boom, shakalaka. What's in here? I don't know. There's a treasure chest. Let's go see. Money! Yes, we could always use money. That would be enough for a shield if we actually needed one. But we don't. Yeah, that looks like a dungeon, doesn't it? I think Minecraft needs those kind of dungeons! Instead of just, like, blocks with chests in them with the monster spawner. It needs more dungeon-like dungeons with puzzles and traps and awesomeness. Then again, modders are already doing that. Sunken Falls, Headwaters, and Sunken City. And we can't swim yet. I mean, if I were to go in there, I'd just die. Santa, welcome. Really? But I want to talk to you. Oh, fine. Oh, stump time! Tree powers activate! <laughs> uh, internet references. Aren't they the best? If you've never seen ASDF movies, go, go watch them. Seriously. Thunk. Ow. Oh my god, that hurt. And. Ah! You startled me. Winter sets all of a sudden, and down my chimney comes. Wait a minute. You're not Santa. You don't scare me! Now take this shovel and clear the snow from my walkway. Keep the shovel when you're done. You got the shovel! Now start digging. Are you kidding? You're actually gonna... Can you shovel my walkway? Well, I have a... I actually have no choice, see? I actually have to do it. <laughs> Link, the menu will ever. Okay, I shoveled your walkway, now give me my money. You cleared the snow? Thanks! You can also use that shovel to dig up treasure. Try it everywhere you go. You're a cutie. Can I ask you out? No. Fine. Screw you then. I'm the freaking hero of time. She should be saying, oh yeah, let's go out. Let's go have some fun. Aha! Now I built a, built a trench around your house. Now you can't get out. <laughs> uh, wow. Ooh, time to burn trees. Burn, baby, burn. 
Yay! I thank you for paying to fix my door. Don't do it again. Oh, fine. Screw you. Burn! I'll burn your house all I freaking want. You wanna know something? Because I can. I'm freaking Link. I can do whatever I want. Also, you shouldn't be living under a tree stump. Dumbass. Anyway, we have to go find the second dungeon, just like Mr. 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 Tree said. So there we go. Obviously, we have to use the shovel. Right here. And there we go. Mystery Seeds, yay! Mystery Siege, what they do with the mystery? Try them on many things. Yep, Mystery Siege. Different effects for different I monsters. I mean, we put on the statue. Do not forget to give me Mystery Seeds, and he'll give you hints. The m and if you use it on monsters, they just pretty much get some random effect put on them. I mean, they could be spent away like that, which happens three times for some reason. It's just a gamble what they do. De dead. Very. I can always use one of those. Yes. And then we have to go into Dungeon 3. Wait a minute. I'm getting ahead of myself. This is only Dungeon 2. Level 2. Snakes Remains. We're gonna equip my boomerang because... Well, the only real items that will be used in this dungeon... Dang it. Go over there. I hate organizing my items. Now oh, screw it, let's just... Yeah, the only items that we're pretty much going to be using right now are Sea Satchel, Bombs, and my Boomerang, and possibly the Shield. Probably not, though. See? Immediately we have to use the Sea Satchel to light up these things. Oh wait, we can go this way first. Ah! Slime, slime. And there's a treasure chest over here. Got five rupees. Hey, you wanna see something stupid? Oof, it's heavy. Oh gee, Link, I didn't know you couldn't push a pot. <laughs> I always found that amusing. You can't push pots until the until you get an item. <laughs> it's hilarious. Bye rope. Key. So there we go. We we took him down this area, which means we don't have to come here come over here again. We can just pass Mr. Spikey and his friend. And we can go take on these two parts. Get the candles filled in. And well just go on. There's two ways I'm gonna go head down here. Ah! Or ropes. Yeah, I know it's called snakes. I call them ropes because that's their official name in the first game. No, I, I, I like their official names. Rope is a cool name. For a snake. I mean, if you were to call anything else a rope, like, I don't know, calling a moblin rope? That'd be silly. Oh yeah, I, I'm that talented. I took them all down in one shot. Now, if you expected not to see any secrets in this game, you should have been... You should really shouldn't have watched this, because, I mean, look, an arrow, wall, it should have been obvious. So, be prepared for tons of secret spoilers. Although, don't be prepared for 100%. Because I'm not even going to do 100%. Pretty much, pretty much what I take down during my course, well, during the course of me defeating Ana, be well, before anything I get, before I actually get to the end of the game, I'll get, but if I but once I get to the end of the game, I'm pretty much done. Cause honestly, I'm not a hundred percent player, and I only really don't play a hundred percent to have some of the secrets, you know, be left for you guys to discover. Otherwise, there's, I mean, if you never played a game before, and you want to see someone play the game, to you know, to say, hey, this looks like a good game. Then I'm always not going to show all the secrets, that way you guys have something to play it for. I mean, yeah, I like complete runs and everything, but I'm not going to do them, because I like having people, you know, find secrets for themselves. Anyway, we got the power bracelet. Hold the button and press the direction pad to lift heavy objects. Otherwise known as, Link can finally push pots! 
<laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of sad. Link can't push a pot before he found before he finds the power bracelet. Ow. I fell down a little. The dungeon map. Press select to see it. The darkened rooms are the ones you haven't been to yet. Yep. Really? Hmm. The secret room doesn't show up on the map. Oh well. We're gonna go this way. More ropes. More, more choo choos. Heart. Push block. The second dungeon isn't all, all that overly complicated. Just. You know, watch out for things. Especially these giant spikes. They're some of my favorite enemies. You can't kill them, but they're awesome. Push. Push. You need the power bracelet to push that thing, so that's important. The power bracelet is the item in this dungeon, and you know, when you find an item in a dungeon in Zelda games, you're gonna be using them a lot. Push. Push. Up we go! Oh my god, I can see the sun! It's amazing! And we can find one of the blue stones! Hooray! But we're not... Don't get it used to the sun! Because we're going right back in. Um... Yeah, I'm going to need to buy some bombs. Because honestly... Unless there's something here? Nope, just hearts. Good thing I have rupees! Greeting! Your deal! 10 bombs for 30 rupees! Okay. Because this next course spot is a speed run. Find the way to the... Find the way to the treasure chest before it disappears. And you think I'm actually kidding on that. That thing actually does disappear. It will. And when you leave the room, all these blocks respawn. You have to be quick. But there's another key for us. So now we got two. And, well, we're done with the tail. Oh, wait, that's the head. Never mind. I guess I didn't need to buy the bombs. Oh, well. I don't need the rupees anyway. <laughs> I already got 200 of them. And right, we're right back in where we were. Push a block. You know, I gotta wonder, how does a bat have money anyway? Meh. If it makes link, if it makes me rich, I don't care. <laughs> there we go. Super bomb action. There's some mystery seeds if we need any. And we're gonna go down. And it's 2D! Hooray! Even though it keeps all the top-down sprites. I like that. I like how they made they made only one single animation for Link work for both 2D and 3D. I mean look, right now he looks like he's just standing on the ground. We come in here. It looks like he's actually, you know, walking in 2D. It, it surprisingly works. I like it. So let's just go on. Ten rupees for us. Um. Hmm. Let's see. How much farther do we got to the boss? A while. Oh. No. 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 Huh. Okay. With that hole, I'm just maybe. Let's get to a safe zone. No, wait, I got an idea. Let's take care of the mini-boss first. Because I know it's coming up. See? Did I call it or did I call it? And the face. Pretty much, throw bombs into him. If you need bombs, you'll spawn enemies to actually, you know, give you bombs. See? Bombs. Toss. Hunt. Fireballs. I think he also does like some 
earthquake move to toss them blocks at you, but I'm too awesome. You can't defeat me. <laughs> so, with this mini boss taken down, we're also gonna end this episode. So, next time, further into the dungeon. We only got a little bit left to go, and we got one key left, so we're gonna save and quit, and I'll see you next time.